Hi students and welcome to today's live IELTS class. My name is Adrian and I am streaming to you live from beautiful Budapest here on the Danube River, capital city of Hungary, of course, in Central Europe. I hope everybody has had a fantastic week and looking forward to a nice weekend. In this class, we will take an IELTS task two writing question with planning strategy. This is a members chat class. We do have an all chat class coming up in 90 minutes for a task one diagram question. There we have our members joining in. Hi, Roshni. Hi, Sheng Hung. Hi, Aman. Good to see our members on time. And again, a reminder that our materials come from our websites, aehelp.com for academic IELTS and for the general version of the test, check us out at gieltshelp.com where we have six original practice exams in computer-based versions as well. Also over a hundred hours of video lessons and a fully interactive course with tips and strategies to really improve your band scores. You can download our app, Academic IELTS Help from your app store. If you have questions, comments, concerns about the exam or about our products, feel free to send me an email, adrian, A-D-R-I-A-N, at aehelp.com. Again, you can get our exam books from Amazon. Search for these titles, AE Helps Academic IELTS. And now let's get in to our task two question for today. This was sent by one of our members requested. So we'll take a look at this IELTS writing task two. Amar, Makonan, Zaina, Baman, are you ready to go? Ready to spearhead this task to question, produce a high level response with some good planning. Are you stoked to do it? Roshni says, yes. Awesome, Roshni. Okay, let's get going. So first things first, always read the question carefully. Thank you, Zainab, for the response. Some companies sponsor sports as a way to advertise themselves. While some people think this is good, others believe there are disadvantages to this. Discuss both views and give your own opinion. Include any relevant examples and explanations from your own experience. Write at least 250 words. That means you need to write minimum 250 words for task completion. Of course, most band eight, band nine essays are closer to 300, 320 words even. All right, so let's uh, paraphrase. I'm sure most of our members now know that to um, give a good response, you need to paraphrase the question. Why? Members, why is it important to paraphrase the question? As we paraphrase this question, can you tell me why it's important to paraphrase the task to question before you begin your essay? Why is that, why is that a good idea? It can be a part of your introduction, so you can put it into your introduction, but it's a good idea to just quickly paraphrase the question before you begin to write your response. Why? So Sheng Hung says to make sure that you understand the question. And Sheng Hung, thank you for sharing that. You are absolutely right. One of the most common mistakes that we see from students is they think they understand the question, but they don't, and they write off topic. And even with good English, that does not get you band scores over five, 5.5, because if you're writing off topic, it's an incoherent essay. So even with good English. Uh, Aman says, because it's quite attractive, uh, and there is truth to that, Aman. So it's not that it's attractive, but it shows a different perspective of the same idea. 
Okay. So Roshni says, yeah, to understand the question and to not go off topic. Absolutely. So Shang Hung, Roshni, you're right. Uh, also, uh, you create a list of words that you can use in your essay, and Zainab says that correctly. So Zainab says, you get some good vocabulary to include in your essay, so you're not just repeating words, and you're showing a lexical resource, just like um, in uh, speaking. And Zainab, you're correct, you start to generate ideas. So your brain begins to think about the question and formulate ideas. Definitely, Zainab, I agree 100%. So let's do this. Let's paraphrase. You paraphrase, I'll paraphrase. Then we will match and compare. So... All right, so that's my paraphrase. Um, here's the original. Some companies sponsor sports as a way to advertise themselves. While some people think this is good, others believe there are disadvantages to this. Discuss both views and give your own opinion. Uh, certain businesses, uh, let me correct my singular to a plural. Certain businesses fund athletics in order to gain notoriety. Notoriety means popularity. Gaining popularity is the same concept as advertising uh, for themselves. Let me correct that unnecessary preposition. Uh, some individuals believe this is a positive, while opponents ascertain that there are negatives to this. Explain both perspectives and include your own uh, position. Okay, so again, uh, doing exactly what you suggested for those reasons. So with this paraphrase, I know that I understand the original question. I'm sure of myself. I've definitely uh, gathered some valuable vocabulary for the essay. Businesses, fund instead of sponsor, athletics instead of sports, notoriety instead of advertise, so individuals instead of people. So definitely some good, uh, some good uh, paraphrasing. Also notice that I paraphrased the question. So discuss both views and give your own opinion. I strongly, strongly, members, I strongly suggest paraphrasing that small question because that's where there are some differences. So you know that some questions say uh, discuss the advantages, disadvantages. Some questions ask um, to choose one side. So there are different questions. And one of the big mistakes that many students make is they ignore paraphrasing this. And then instead of discussing both views and giving their own opinion, they just discuss advantages, disadvantages, or they just choose one side. And that way, their band score goes down. So don't do that. Okay, and paraphrase. Here, explain both perspectives, include your opinion. It's clear. Okay, <clears throat> so what's the next step? Sorry, my voice is going on me here. That's unusual. Anyhow, <clears throat> Sh 
Sheng Hung says, <clears throat> a group of industries supplies athletics instead of themselves. While some individuals believe this is excellent, other individuals think there are oppositions. Um, Sheng Hung, I don't think that's a paraphrase of the question. It's not industries supplying athletics instead of themselves. It's industries or businesses uh, using sports uh, as an advertising medium. So that's what you need to focus on. So try to reread the question, Sheng Hung. I think your paraphrase is off. So I'm not sure if you're thinking about it wrong or if uh, you just paraphrased wrong, but be careful. Amar says, some firms invest in sports as an approach toward advertising. Very nice, Amar. While some individuals believe that this is fine, other people ponder there are negatives to this, argue both ideas, and take a place on one side. Uh, Amar, the first paraphrase is very, very good, uh, the first part of it. Um, the second, while some individuals believe that this is fine, uh, careful. Other people argue that this is a negative. Okay, one is fine, other is negative. So make sure that you're accurate. If you write that in your essay, uh, you're going to lose marks. There's a lot of confusion there. Okay, Roshni says, some people believe that most companies subsidize sports centers because it is beneficial for the company to advertise while others ascertain that this has drawbacks. Okay, uh, same thing, Roshni, careful a little bit with your word choice. Uh, it's not 100% clear. Okay, so careful, careful. All right, good news, my voice is back. Um, here we go, let's, uh, let's identify the topic. What is the topic here? So what are we actually talking about? And um, there's actually two words. If you have some good vocabulary, you can, um, you can state the topic here in two words. So what are we talking about? That may be a little bit more than two words for the topic. There's another way to say sponsor. Anybody know another piece of vocabulary for sponsor? Maybe you're thinking of it while I write it. It's sports endorsement. Okay, so sports endorsement means to sponsor sports. Okay, sports endorsement by companies. That's what we're talking about, right? So that's what we're actually discussing. And then of course, the controlling idea is, is it good or bad? Okay, so that's the controlling idea. Yeah, Danish, very good. Nice of you to jump in on the chat. So Danish says, we're talking about sports sponsorship. Absolutely. And if we want to be a little bit more specific Danish, then we will include by companies, right? Because there are different uh, organizations that can sponsor sports. But here we're specifically talking about companies endorsing sports, not schools, not private individuals, but companies, right? Okay. All right. Uh, controlling idea. Is it good or bad? So... First of all, what is um, sports advertising? So what is that? Okay, this is where it is a really good idea before you begin to write to go through the what, why, how. With these questions, sometimes they seem really intuitive, like, okay, we know exactly what that is. But when you think about it, <coughs> excuse me, a little bit more deeply, then you come up with some better ideas, okay? So what is sports advertising? What comes to mind? So Zainab says certain uh, organizations, not sports, 
So Zainab, certain organizations uh, pay. It's not a donation because they exchange for a service, right? So certain organizations pay uh, sports teams or people. Okay. And I think, Zainab, you're paraphrasing, right? So that's what that is. Certain organizations donate to announce themselves through sports. A group of people believe this is beneficial, but others are against this concept. So Zainab, note the correction. Amara, thank you <laughs> for that. Um, Roshni, encouraged to join sports? Not so much. Uh, Sheng Hung says uh, products related to sports like drinks and clothes, not cloths. Careful, Sheng Hung. There has to be an E there. C-L-O-T-H-E-S. Um, Preeti, that's your paraphrase. I can see it. So few industries finance sports to endorse their products. Some people believe this is a positive, while others think that this is a negative effect. Uh, Preeti, that's really nice paraphrasing. I like how you realize the concept of endorsement, so endorsing their products. Um, so what is sports advertising? Aman says to promote sports activities. Keep your thoughts simple. Keep your thoughts simple. So sports advertising is paying money for sports clubs and athletes to promote products, names, and brands. Okay, why? So why do companies do this? Why do companies choose to promote their products through sports? Okay, why is that? Okay, and I think um, Sheng Hung, you had a good answer there for the why, because their products are related to athletics, right? like drinks, clothes, shoes. Why else? Amar says, because most people like sports. Yeah, so big exposure, right? Yeah, many people watch sports. Absolutely. Yeah, that's good. So it's big exposure. Sure. Um, how? So how do companies um, sponsor sports and advertise? So how do they do it? Okay. And again, students, you really want to think about all of these questions quickly within about five minutes before you write. My suggestion always is take five minutes to think and 35 minutes to write. You will write faster, you will write more, and you will write more accurately, okay? So keep that in mind, okay? So again, it's worth investing five minutes to plan your response, do the paraphrasing, do the critical thinking, to achieve a higher band score on your task too. So take, it's a very important strategy, okay? So I'm going to keep reminding you of this often in the future as well. So take five minutes. A lot of students think, oh, Adrian, why the 40 minutes is already not enough time um, to write, so I need to use every minute, and they just start writing. That's a really bad idea. So take five minutes to plan your essay and 35 minutes to write. You will write on topic. You will write faster and clearly. Okay? So really 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 important. Okay? 
So Shang Hung says in order to sell more products, show the company's images through to customers. Aman says through the internet, newspaper and media. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to combine those. So you're answering the how question, right? So um, by giving money. So again, students learn to think simple, right? How does a, uh, a business sponsor a sports team well, or an individual by simply giving them money? Like um, Nike paid uh, Tiger Woods, I don't even know how many hundreds of millions of dollars um, to wear their products, right? So uh, by giving money, by uh, buying equipment, okay? Uh, I know that Nike does a lot of sponsorship of high school teams as well, or colleges. They don't give them money because they're not allowed to. You can't pay high school athletes or college athletes, uh, at least not in the States or Canada. So instead, what Nike does is they pay for shoes. They pay for uh, uh, athletic clothing, okay? So buying equipment, shoes, clothes, okay? Uh, and then what they do is they make sure to project their logos and image brands and names. So that's how they do it, right? Amar says, by giving money. Yeah, Amar, I see that. Fantastic. Good job. Okay. So you said it. That's good. Again, think simple, right? Uh, in the IELTS, you want to think simple it's not easy. You have to practice that, uh, but uh, you have to um, you have to do it, and you, that way you'll think quickly. Uh, Viet says training and nurturing young talent. Yes, yeah, so maybe uh, Viet, what you're thinking of there is paying for training or coaches, professional coaches. Yeah, if they see talented individuals, absolutely. So those are all uh, good answers. Okay, so. Definitely some high value in thinking about this. Now, in the real exam members, viewers, you probably don't have enough time to write all this down. So you're just thinking about this and think about it in English, especially when you're practicing at home. Think in English, not in your own language, okay? Uh, force your brain to work in English throughout this process. So what is sports advertising? Paying money for sports clubs and athletes to promote products names and brands why do companies do this because products are related to sports they have their own drinks clothes shoes that they sell they get big exposure many people watch sports it's a very positive content or context right uh, people cheering and happy they see a logo they feel positive about it how do companies sponsor sports and how do they advertise by giving money by buying equipment shoes clothes by making sure to project their logos, their image. Maybe they pay for some training or some coaches. Okay, am I done with my planning? So is this it? Can I start writing? Am I ready to produce a good answer to this question? And Danish, yeah, you're going into more details with the players. T-shirts, sure, that's fine. So Roshni says, no, we should think about the two sides. So the positive negative and Shang Hung says, uh, no, come up with a thesis statement before you, um, right. And I think Shang Hung, uh, you realize too, that of course, to come up with a thesis statement, you have to ask the questions that Roshni is suggesting. Same thing, Amar, right? You're like, okay, so the thesis, as soon as you think about the thesis, you're thinking, so which side? do I support? Is it good for companies to sponsor and advertise for sports or not? Well, I don't know that yet because I haven't thought about the why is it good? Why is it bad? So I want to think about that. Why is it positive to sponsor for businesses to sponsor sports? And of course the opposite. Why is it negative for businesses to sponsor sports. Okay. 
So we need to think about those two questions. Now, I think what happens with a lot of students when they get to task two is they read the question. So they read the original question here. Uh, and then uh, immediately they jump to these two questions. Why is it positive? Why is it negative? That's not good, okay? It's not good to jump to these two questions right away uh, because there's a big gap in your thinking and you should really focus on the what is sports advertising? Why do companies do this? And how do companies do this? Because asking those three questions about the topic first gives you a much better idea about these two questions. Why is it positive? Why is it negative? Does that make sense, members, what I just said there? So when you get this kind of question of discuss both sides, a lot of students immediately think about, okay, what is the negative? What is the positive? But they didn't actually think about the topic. What is the topic? Why does that happen? Or why is it? And how is it before they think about the why is it good? Why is it bad? Does that makes sense. So jumping to the why is it good, why is it bad can leave a really big gap in the information, a space in the information in the brain, and the answer becomes much weaker in the essay. So it's extremely important to think of the topic first. I really wanted to emphasize that in this class. Okay. Thank you, Roshni, Zainab, and Preeti for your response. It helps me help you. Okay. So let's get back to this. So why is it positive for businesses to sponsor uh, sports? Amar says they will gain uh, more money by supporting a sport. Okay. Um, why is it positive for the sport though, Amar? So it's positive for the business because they can gain more success. Um, is there any reason that it's positive for the sports? Okay. So Amar Wadi says there are poor people who need the money, natural resources, the community as well. But Amar, that doesn't make sense because businesses aren't just going to donate money. So they're paying money to the sports team so that they can earn more money. That's their goal, right? It's not a donation here. It's an investment. Keep that in mind, Amar. These companies are investing. They're not donating, right? Careful. I think with that thought, Amar, you're going to go off topic. If you write that while well, there are poor people or the environment that also needs money from companies, I think it's going to be a very difficult argument to make and it's not going to be a clear uh, essay. So Roshni says uh, sports endorsement encourages young adults to, to play um, because they can make a living, right? So they can make a very nice uh, amount of money. Absolutely. Okay. So positive for businesses to sponsor sports in order to grow their products. Sure. And looking at it from the sports side, because I think that's what this question is focusing on more, right? Is it encourages uh, competition and uh, athletics among society because there are great monetary rewards, right? So when uh, a person knows that Tiger Woods got $500 million from Nike uh, to wear their shirt and shoes and play with their golf clubs, then maybe some people were like, hey, I'm going to become a great golfer too and get Nike to sponsor me because there's a big reward there. So it's an incentive. It incentivizes sport. Of course, I'm teaching you some new vocabulary here. So pay attention. It incentivizes sport. Incentive is not only a noun, it's also a verb in English. Okay. Incentive means it gives you uh, an encouragement. So some kind of a prize that encourages you. Okay. Thanos says fast and easy advertising because sports 
uh, have great craze for all people. Yeah, so it's a good type of advertising. But again, here we're thinking, why is it good for the sport? Okay, so um, what's another reason why it's good for the sport? So people can make money, athletes can make more money. What else happens? Any other benefits for paying money to advertise through sports? Okay, um, I would say that probably makes uh, or provides opportunities to athletes in um, difficult situations. Okay, so sports advertising provides opportunities to athletes in difficult or impoverished situations. And here, what I'm encouraging you to do is visualize. Always, always remember to visualize. When you're thinking about the benefits and the negatives of sport advertising, you should see famous people. Um, so you should see like Ronaldo wearing Adidas, I think, maybe Reebok. Some of you might know that better. Again, you don't have to tell the truth in the IELTS exam. Uh, you can make it up. Um, I don't watch enough football to know who's endorsed by who, but I think Ronaldo is uh, endorsed by Adidas. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, but anyway, I visualize uh, him wearing um, an Adidas logo, right? So I see that. But also I see... a poor neighborhood school uh, soccer team or football team get new shoes, cleats, new shoes and uh, jerseys for basketball. Okay, so I see kind of like a middle school uh, that's maybe in a poor part of the city where all the kids get these boxes full of new shoes and new jerseys so that they can play basketball. Okay, so I visualize that. So again, be very visual when you're thinking of your ideas. All right. And Amar says the government will even give some tax breaks to the company uh, when they advertise or give money to sports. Again, Amar, that's possible, but you're going off topic. Remember, it's 250 words minimum. Your goal, if you're wanting a high band, is 300, okay? And um, you don't need to go over that, so don't overcomplicate, students. Uh, why is it negative for businesses to uh, sponsor sports? So why would some people say that... Um, that it's bad, okay? So why would some people say, eh, it's not a good idea? Uh, Zainab, Jersey is um, the uniform that's worn by athletes. So football jersey, uh, baseball jersey, basketball jersey, uh, those are the tops uh, that are worn by the athletes in that sport. It's called a jersey. It's basically a synonym, Zainab, for uniform, but it's specific to sports. Yeah, Shang Hung says it's a sports shirt, basically. Okay, uh, Roshni, it's not necessarily a t-shirt. It can be um, a tank top, for example, in basketball. Okay, t-shirt is just uh, the shirt that comes to your upper arm, Roshni, so that's a little bit different. Okay, so again, students, why is it why is it bad? So why is it negative for businesses to sponsor sports? Why would some people say that that's a bad idea? It's not good. What's the logic? What could be a disadvantage to people, to the sports club, maybe even to the company?
So very good. New and Viet says companies gain control and put pressure on the athletes. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So uh, companies start to control the athletes and instead of passion. Okay. Instead of passion for the sport. Yeah, absolutely. Raj says it could be very expensive. It's not use contractions. It is an expensive form of advertising. Sure. Okay. Any other negatives? Any negatives to the audience? Think about that. So one really good technique to develop students when you're thinking about responses for task two, also for the speaking section, is practice shifting your perspective. So here we have the perspective of the company, we have the perspective of the athlete, and we have the perspective of the audience or the population who sees that advertising than that athlete, right? So think about the audience for a second. So shift your perspective. So think about the company. Okay, maybe it's a little bit too expensive. Um, the product, uh, if it's not related, it might not be successful. Think about the athlete. They feel a lot of pressure to perform. Otherwise, they lose their sponsor. Now think about the audience. Is there any negative for the audience with regard to sports advertising? So if you see yourself as the viewer uh, watching a football match on uh, TV or maybe in person, okay? Are there any negatives to this? So different perspectives, shift your perspective. The more you can shift your perspective when you think about these topics and ideas, the better your responses will be, okay? There's a very simple answer here if you're thinking about um, the, uh, the audience or thinking of yourself, and we're most often the audience. Let's see if some of you come up with the same answer as I do. Okay. Um, yeah, so Amar, you're right. You're kind of on the same page as me. So Amar says it affects the viewers by making them irritated. Um, yeah, it, uh, it's distracting. Okay, the word that you're looking for is distract. It's distracting for the viewer to see all those ads. In fact, I remember uh, there were so many ads being projected um, and digitally put onto the sports fields uh, in some hockey games and in some football games that um, I think at the government level, they actually had to say, whoa, 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 guys, you got to stop this. You can't have moving advertisement being projected uh, on the field and uh, on the sides of, um, of, the, of the courts. Uh, it's just too distracting for people. They can't enjoy the game that they're trying to watch. So it's irritating, it's distracting. If, there's, uh, if you're watching a football match and every 10 minutes they cut to a commercial on TV, it's really annoying, right? I'm sure most of us will agree with that. Okay, um, so in the end, uh, we do have to decide our thesis. We have to get going on this essay. In the real test, of course, this is all happening very quickly. So this is why I'm training you to think fast, think dynamic. Okay, those are the two key points I want to bring your attention to as you think about this thesis. Okay, so this is another important strategy for today's class members. So think fast or train yourself to think fast and dynamic for high quality answers. 
Okay, this means shifting your perspective to various um, nouns or various uh, entities in context. What I mean by that is businesses, athletes, and audience or viewers, okay? Now, don't go too broad, right? Because we could include, for example, the government as well, but that would be too broad. You don't want to go overboard, okay? So think about the key players, the most important ones. So what's your thesis here? Um, first of all, decide what side you're on. So do you think that it's better for businesses to support sports clubs or not? What do you think? Uh, it's better or not? So it's good for businesses to sponsor sports teams or it's not good for businesses to sponsor sports teams. What do you think? Which one would you choose? What do you think is the easier argument? Okay. Danish says it's better. Roshni says it's better. Uh, Viet uh, agrees that it's better. Amar says it's better. Yeah, I would say it's better too. So it looks like we're quite unanimous. Um, so now we need to create our thesis statement. Here's mine. I'm going to quickly, now that I've thought lots about it, I can definitely uh, get my thesis statement out quickly. Okay. Uh, Sheng Hung, yeah, you agree that it's easier to talk about the positive, so sponsoring sports clubs. So although... All right, so there is my thesis statement. Now, this is a band nine level thesis statement. Um, you may want to break this into two sentences, uh, but certainly uh, I have uh, a very clear structure, position, voice, right? Remember, all of those elements need to be uh, in the thesis, and I have uh, clear points. Let me ask you this, members. Uh, according to my thesis, when you read my thesis, what will my first body paragraph be about? And this is how you can test the quality of your thesis. Go to your teacher, go to your friend, and ask them this, okay? So what is my body paragraph one about? So in this case, looking at my thesis, although some individuals believe there are negatives to companies endorsing sports because it is distracting and manipulating, I agree with those who see this as mostly a benefit since such sponsorships provide incentives and opportunities. So what is my body paragraph one going to be about? So Amarjit says it's going to be negative. Anything else that you can get from this? MRG, so it'll be about the negative side. Yep, absolutely. Viet says that will be your negative paragraph, definitely. Okay, so we get that from this thesis. What else do we get from this thesis regarding body paragraph one? What will it talk about? 
Any other hint or idea? There's definitely some that you should get. What will be the content? What will it actually be about? What will be those negatives? So what negatives will I highlight in body paragraph? So Viet says it'll, that it's distracting and manipulating. Right? Remember what we said? Uh, you probably saw that it took me a second to think about this word, um, manipulating. I'm using parallel grammar. So distract, I-N-G, manipulate, I-N-G. I need to have parallel grammar among points, okay? Um, and uh, remember we said that um, uh, some athletes, they start to feel pressure and they play sports for the money and the endorsement and not because they love the sport anymore. And that happens. Uh, so that's what I'm thinking is manipulating. So company endorsements manipulate the athletes uh, to focus more on the money and on the endorsements or the sponsorships than about the actual sport. So that's the manipulating part. Okay. Uh, what is my body paragraph two going to be about? So according to my thesis, it should be clear what my body paragraph two will be about. What is that going to be about? Yeah, so Preeti says the incentives and the opportunities. Shang Hung agrees. It'll be about the positives, incentives, opportunities, and my position, right? My support, so my belief. So you should get from my thesis that my body paragraph will be about my supported side, positive, incentives, and opportunities. Absolutely. So all of that information is clear from my thesis statement. Okay. And that's definitely what a band nine university level thesis statement should look like in the introduction. Okay. So although certain, and this is Danish, Danish says, although certain individuals ascertain there are some negative sports sponsorships by companies because it distracts the audience, I believe that company endorsement provides better opportunities and support. Danish, very good. So you're kind of close to what I'm saying, um, and it's very good, okay? You have a, the right approach. Okay, um, so members, here is your homework for today, okay? Uh, write the introductory paragraph. The hook plus the background plus the thesis, okay? For the background, use what we planned, okay? So use the planning uh, from this, all right? And then tomorrow, I will have uh, a sample introduction complete for you as well, and we'll continue with body one, body two, and the conclusion. So We'll continue with body one tomorrow. So make sure you have your introductory uh, paragraphs for this question for tomorrow because I will ask you for it, okay? So I'll ask you at the beginning of the, beginning of the class to please post your hook, your background, your thesis, and then you can compare it to mine. I will have it ready for you. And then we'll go nicely together into the body paragraphs. How does that sound? Sounds good? Roshni says, okay, sure. Sounds good. Okay, students, again, um, for those viewers uh, who are watching and not members, you can become a member of our channel by clicking the join button beside the subscribe button. If you don't see it, uh, send me an email and I can give you some other options, okay? It's a little bit tricky, for example, for Apple users. So uh, adrian at aehelp.com. And also to get all of our world-class IELTS preparation materials, Check us out at aehelp.com for academic, 
I'll show you what these websites look like real quick. So this is our academic website here at aehelp.com. Click that red button to join. And for the general version of the exam, uh, click this red button at g-i-e-l-t-s help.com to join us there. Uh, again, in 30 minutes, we have task one, a diagram, uh, sample essay coming up. I hope most of you members will be able to join me there. And uh, for those of you who are getting ready for bed, I wish you a good sleep. And uh, for everyone else, I will see you shortly. Bye for now.